after a year of rising inflation, experts say the start of the year can come with layoffs. Fox 44's Anum Siddiqui explains what we can expect. Anum. Hey Sydney, officials with the Baton Rouge Area Chamber tell me the Baton Rouge job market looks good right now, but there are scares because interest rates might rise again. Experts say rising inflation rates and interest hikes are here to stay and that can impact employment. When interest rates have gone up, that's what the Federal Reserve uses to try to tamp down inflation. A side effect of that often is that the unemployment rates go higher. But we haven't seen that this time. Andrew Fitzgerald with the Baton Rouge Area Chamber says there's been no major layoffs in Baton Rouge, but January is when businesses make changes. Companies tend to get rid of positions at the end of the year because they flip over and have a new budget on January 1st and it might have to be lower. So that's a good time for them to lower expenses. So really it's new budgeting and seasonal jobs ending. Products, tea, Owner of Pit and Peel, Alvande Raybon, is one of those businesses. He's a one-man band trying to make ends meet. Everything went up from poetry to pork to cooking all. Raybon is looking to hire a cook but cannot afford a full staff. You know, when it goes to making sure that you're getting the best bang for your buck, I've just kind of come to the conclusion that having as minimal people handling the product causes less waste. Fitzgerald expects feds to spike interest rates as we start to see inflation come down. He says there are options for the worst case scenario. Employee BR is a local resource that's government run that on the job seeker side, they will help you create a resume. They'll help you uh, train. They will provide funds for you to upskill and take classes at someplace like BRCC. While prices continue to soar, Rayvon wants to see more people support businesses in their community. Remember, you know, every business that's operating don't necessarily have the resources and capital that's behind them, you know, motivating them to stay open. And a report from BRAC shows there are 27,000 jobs open in the metro area. That's about a two and a half job for every person looking for work.